glass by kscience.com. Soda lime glass is a type of glass which can be used to make plates, cups, bottles and bowls. The raw materials needed to make soda lime glass include sand, which is SiO2, that's sand, limestone, CaCO3, that's limestone, and sodium carbonate, Na2CO3, that's sodium carbonate. These raw materials are then heated in a furnace. This furnace can reach 1,500 degrees Celsius. These raw materials, including the sand, limestone and sodium carbonate, are heated and melted to 1,500 degrees C, forming molten glass. This happens at 1,500 degrees Celsius. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. In the next stage, the molten glass quickly cools and solidifies. These atoms cool so quickly they form a disorderly structure. There is no regular arrangement to this giant structure of atoms where these lines represent the covalent bonds holding the atoms in place. Overall, we say this has a giant structure which is disorderly because there is no regular arrangement of the atoms. Because the molten glass has quickly cooled and solidified, this means the glass is transparent. So the soda lime glass has many different uses, as has already been stated at the beginning of the video. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Borosilicate glass is made from the raw materials sand and boron trioxide, B2O3. Borosilicate glass is used to make items such as ovenware, test tubes, beakers and conical flasks. Why? Because borosilicate glass melts at higher temperatures than soda lime glass. For example, at 1000 degrees Celsius, Soda lime glass, if heated to this temperature, melts. Soda lime glass melts at 1000 degrees Celsius, whereas borosilicate glass does not melt at this temperature. So borosilicate glass can be used at high temperatures. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.